corn and you make a mistake, you still have a chance to learn something. Kim made 33 cakes for the bakery. She sold 16 of the cakes. How many cakes does the bakery have left?
What's 13? Everybody tell me what's in 13. You guys know my math, thank you. 13 is really 10 and 3, right? So if we're talking about these ones, can we start with three ones and take away eight? Mm, that's tricky business, isn't it? So this strategy, I think some of my friends were using, I think it was kind of confusing a little bit because we can't really take eight away from three, can we? Because if I have three, can I take eight away? Here, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. You two. Here we go. Here's my three ones. Now I'm going to take away eight, okay? Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Uh-oh. I ran out of ones. Can I take eight away from three? No. No, that can't work, can it? Hmm, so that's kind of confusing us a little bit, isn't it? Jonathan, you have something to say? Okay, so what did what would you like me to do? What do you think about that? Can I take the 8 away from the 10? It, she took away that 10 and that only left 3 over. And she put those two together. And that was 5. We keep coming up with that same number, 5. I think what Jonathan was talking about here is that making 10 strategy. It just looks a little bit different because we turned it into a vertical problem. Yes? All right, how many people agree with that that, that, that that works? You think it works? Well, my answer was still the same. Your answer was the same? Me too. I think we're running into that problem where I think my friends are thinking things in their head and then they know the answer because they just know the answers up here, but then you're trying to draw something, some kind of strategy to match and sometimes it doesn't work out, does it? You're getting too quick with these math facts. You're remembering them in your head. All right, but we're not done, are we? We made our mountain. We wrote an equation. We tried out a couple of different strategies. Now what's left? We have to put it back into a sentence. Our question was, how many cakes does the bakery have left? Jasmine, what's the answer to our question? The bakery has, yes? All right, why don't we sit back in our regular spots and we'll talk a little bit about the challenge. Marie, can you put those back on your face so you can see? Oh. All right, so here's our challenge problem today. How many friends tried the challenge problem today? Oh, not as many as I'd like. Remember, everybody can try the challenge problem even if you make mistakes because you can learn from your mistakes, right? All right. Kim made 33 cakes for the bakery. She sold 16 of the cakes. How many cakes does the bakery have left? What are we looking for? Uh, part. What's our total today? 